The 1983 Bora Peak earthquake occurred on Friday, October 28, at 8.06, 9 a.m. MDT in the western United States, in the Lost River Range at Bora Peak in central Idaho, the shock measured 6.9 on the moment magnitude scale and had a maximum Mercalli intensity of X violent. It was the most violent earthquake in the lower 48 states in over 24 years, since the 1959 Hebgen Lake earthquake in nearby southwestern Montana. Topic: Earthquake. The earthquake was caused by a slip on the pre-existing Lost River Fault. The event is the largest and most significant to strike in the state of Idaho. Two children were killed by falling masonry while walking to school in Shelley, about 120 miles (190 kilometers) northeast of Boise, the state capital. Twelve and a half million dollars in damage took place in the Shelley McKay region in Custer County. As a result of extreme surface faulting, a maximum Mercalli intensity of X violent was decided upon, while vibrational damage was at a Mercalli intensity of V strong to 7 very strong. Three weeks later on November 18, President Ronald Reagan declared the earthquake a major disaster. Aftershocks were felt for a year afterwards. Nearly 10 months later, a 5.4 aftershock was recorded on August 22, 1984. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Surface faulting. The rupture caused clear surface faulting, a 21-mile long northwest trending zone of fresh scarps and ground ruptures was present on a slope of the Lost River Range. Extensive breakage occurred along a 5-mile zone between West Spring and Cedar Creek. Ground surface was literally «shattered» into tilted blocks, each several meters in width. These scarps were as broad as 330 feet 100 meters. .The ground breakage was 100 km wide. The throw on the faulting ranged from minus 50 cm to 2.7 m. Damage <inaudible> 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 The Shelley McKay region experienced rather thorough damage, with 11 commercial buildings and 39 homes sustaining major damage while another 200 houses suffered minor to moderate damage. McKay in particular, about 50 miles 80 km southeast of Shelley, experienced the most severe damage. Most of the city's large buildings on its main street were damaged, to some extent, eight of these buildings were deemed condemned and closed down. Most of these buildings were built from materials such as brick, concrete block, and stone, each varying. An estimated $12.5 million in property damage was recorded. In some places, the water grounds shifted. Topic. Sand blows Near Chile Buttes of Thousand Springs Valley, a series of artesian fountains, sand blows erupted immediately after the main shock. Groundwater gushed from these fountains forming small craters and depositing aprons of light-colored sandy sediment around each crater. <laughs> <laughs> 